Oh, hi. Come on in. I'm Ann Cummer, and I was just working on a webinar that I'm doing for ASHA on January 9th. It's called Beyond Cleft Palate, Differential Diagnosis and Treatment of Velopharyngeal Dysfunction. Hey, you might be interested in this. You know, I'm really passionate about this topic because my first job was working in the public schools. And during the years that I worked there, I had a couple of kids on my caseload. Um, two of them had resonance disorders, and one I remember in particular had very audible nasal emission. Do you know what? I got to be honest with you. I didn't have a clue what to do with those kids. And in fact, what I did was totally the wrong thing, and that is I provided speech therapy for kids who had structural anomalies. You know, I'd like to say I didn't know any better, but you know, maybe I should have explored the options a little bit further. Well, the good news is that now I do know better. And after spending many years working at Cincinnati Children's Hospital Medical Center in the craniofacial anomaly team, um, I do have a lot of knowledge in this area. And so what I wanna do is share that knowledge in this webinar. So in the webinar, we're gonna be talking about kids who have velopharyngeal dysfunction with no history of cleft palate. We'll talk about the different causes of that. Of course, I'm gonna tell you some very simple ways to diagnose it, and then also we'll be talking about treatment. I'm gonna give you some specific therapy techniques that will be useful in eliminating phoneme-specific nasal emission and phoneme-specific hypernasality. And one of them has to do with placement of the R. So anyway, I hope you'll join me on January 9th. And if you can't, I hope you'll view the video online. Ciao.